Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on higher order polynomials. In this video, it says find all the zeros of the following. So in this video, we're not given any head starts except that we know that there are four zeros. So to find the zeros of a polynomial, assuming that they're real zeros, um, there is a trick where any real zero has to be the ratio of the factors of the constant term divided by the ratios of the factors of the leading coefficient. So if we look at six, the factors are one and six, two and three, and our leading coefficient is just one, which is one. So our factors are plus and minus one, plus and minus two, plus and minus three, or a positive or negative six. So we have eight potential factors. Um, since there are four, unless it is one, 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 and six, my guess is six is not a factor. I actually like starting with one because I feel that one is a often a good place to start. Um, so if I start with one, and I'm going to use synthetic division to help me out, I'm going to look at the coefficients of my variables to help me here. So we have 1x to the fourth minus 5x cubed, 5x squared, 5x, and a negative 6. Bring the one down, multiply, add down, multiply, add down, multiply, add down, multiply. And we have our first zero. I'm gonna try it again. Sometimes we have a zero of multiplicity more than one. So maybe one is a factor twice. So I'm gonna test it again. 1, negative 4, 1, 6. 1, 1, negative 3, negative 3, negative 2, <laughs> this isn't looking good, 4. All right, so 1 is a 0 once, but not twice. What about negative 1? And notice I used my new polynomial. I didn't start with the big one. This polynomial right here is the equivalent of x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. Um, that doesn't look like it could be factored by grouping, so I'm going to continue with this. So let's see, 1, negative 4, 1, 6, 1, negative 1, add down, these multiply to be a positive five. These add down to be six, negative six. Ha, that's two. So, so far we have figured out that uh, one and negative one are zeros. And now we have x squared minus five x plus six. And I know how to factor that. As soon as I get it down to a quadratic, x squared, I am not going to use synthetic division anymore. I am absolutely going to factor either by regular factoring rules or the quadratic formula. So I need two numbers that multiply to positive 6 and add up to negative 5. So 1 and 6 is 7. 2, negative 1, negative 6. Negative 2 and negative 3, however, work. So we have x minus 2 times x minus 3. And the thing about 0 is... When two numbers multiply to be zero, one of them has to be zero. X minus two is zero when X is two. X minus three is zero when X is three. So those are our final two zeros, two and three. So here are our four zeros. We are not asked to do this, but for a little bit of extra credit, if we were asked to come up with the original factored uh, function, g of x in the factored form is x minus 1. We're just saying, moving these over, x plus 1, and then bringing these two, x minus 2, and x minus 3. So this is our extra credit. 
of the video where we take our zeros and write it as a function. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.